Christianity in the United States is just barely Christianity. It is a socio-political ideology, but so loosely based on the Bible that it may as well not be called Christianity at all. Christianity in the United States is very consumerist based. The kind of consumerist capitalism we have here in the United States is the United States Christian consumerist capitalism. They all line up together. Commercialism, consumerism, and Christianity of the United States. They line up beautifully because all the consumerism that has been pushed forth uses Christian symbols, Christian phrases to sell their products. They are used constantly in movies, constantly in music, constantly in TV shows, consumerism, horror films especially. Most of the things they use to try to make people have a sense of fear is Christian symbology, consumerism. I would imagine a lot of atheists will watch those horror films from the 1980s and they'll just be funny. There, there won't be anything scary about them, they're just funny. And I shouldn't even have said just atheists, I mean just anyone watches those old movies and they're funny. And yet, they, those symbols were used to scare religious people. That is to say that we are slowly moving away from religion. The 80s really had a consumerism, a smaller aftershock of the 1950s mixed in with it. Consumerism. We may have had all this let's be extra pizzazzy on, on, on all the entertainment. I mean, in, in all the forms, movies, music, everything. Everything's over the top, bigger than life. But it had very heavy religious overtones in it. Let me be clear about something, too. When I say that it is a Christian nation, if the numbers changed and the general attitude changed and we weren't pushing forth so many concepts and ways of approaching subjects in ways that represent someone who is Christian or Christian culture, you know, and if those numbers changed enough and we weren't having things like uh, people petitioning schools to uh, keep teaching a religious belief in science class, things like that, if we weren't constantly uh, saying God bless uh, 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 or, or having to swear on a Bible or uh, have uh, in God we trust on our money or the fact that in God, uh, under God was uh, added to the pledge. On a side note, I want to say that I am not advocating for people to push to have those things changed about the money and the pledge and stuff. Uh, you know, that will be changed almost automatically when enough people are not religious. When this country is no longer considered a Christian country, that's when that will change. Right now, it actually represents the majority of the country, whether you like it or not. We can't force this type of change, just like SJWs can't force the kind of change they're wanting either. Okay, side note over, now continuing what I was saying. But so many people pretty much argue against having a pledge at all. Is it indoctrination? Yes, it is. And so are a lot of things that we teach kids in how instead of teaching them how to think more, how to question more, how to open our minds more, we're teaching them what to think. Though when it comes to schools, there is a new type of almost religion that has been taking that over and that is the whole SJW mindset right from the start. Everyone's a winner, there are no losers in any game. 
uh, one team makes too many points and they reset the scores. Or not really ever having a sense, any sense of competition. All the things that end up, the things that end up being able to drive us to better ourselves. Those are all just being taken away. And everyone's a special little snowflake. We're starting it at early ages this way. Um, even the what what's happened to uh, playgrounds. They used to be places where you learned human physics. These are these, these you can't take things past this level, or these things will happen. It's a learning place. That's it, that's one of the good things about what it used to be. But now all of the big toys look like uh, enlarged toddler toys. Right from an early age, we're starting to push forth sort of a new religion. The religion of we can't. We can't, we're helpless, and we're special little snowflakes. Please c congratulate us. Like... Please clap. Please clap. But uh, once uh, please stopped working, now it's, you need to clap. You need to clap or you're a bad person. You clapped. Clapping is offensive. I demand jazz hands. But don't move them too quickly because that might cause someone to have a, a brain aneurysm. You just don't think about them, do you? It's almost as if they're obsessing on the idea that their parents didn't do a very good job and weren't thorough enough and didn't teach them enough important things or something. And that's what makes the whole thing so sad, too, is when, when it comes to this, the SJW thing, you know, we've, we thought we were coming so far. We thought we were making such progress, and then this whole mindset comes up and is starting to replace religion. You know, I mean, who knows? Maybe in five years, maybe we could uh, consider ourselves the uh, country, the SJW country, while we watch ourselves uh, fall apart. SJW USA. Ding! In the good old SJ USA, dag nabbit. But back to how much Christianity is embedded deep into our culture. And, you know, when it comes to the money, we can say, well, it didn't used to be that way. Yeah, but it changed. It changed. We became more religious. You know, when the 50s came around, we, we were more religious. There was the blocking of things that weren't religious. We can scream and yell at Christians saying, well, you know, these things didn't used to be in our, on our money and it didn't used to be in the pledge. And they can just look at you, and, and I've seen it said before, and it's they, they go, yeah, and? Because things change. We became more religious, you know? you know? Just like the other, what we are is not what we were. Okay, as time goes on, these things, these, the mentality will change. But right now it is what it is. But yeah, if, if these numbers changed, we could say that we're not a Christian nation. But, you know, I mean, talk about wishful thinking. <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> you know, the numbers would have to be different. But we're seeing that religion is on the decline in this country. You know, the internet is where religion goes to die. It, it can't take the scrutiny. Christians generally in the United States don't have any problem, most of the time, consumerism, with how Christmas is commercialized. Consumerism, because it means, well, that, that's more people to believe in Jesus. Now, there are some people who are truly more Christian. You've got the Amish. You've got Westboro Baptist Church. You've got the people who bomb abortion clinics. The Amish being the most peaceful out of them. The Amish don't really care much for the consumerist society we have, but they certainly don't want to destroy it. Our Christian consumerist capitalism we have here 
completely clashes with the tenets of Islam. Sure, there are some people who are Muslims who are willing to toss aside their beliefs in order to live here. But they have to toss aside a lot of stuff. It would be like asking an American Christian to toss aside their beliefs to live in a Satanist country. That's about how at odds our values are, our consumerist capitalist values are, with the tenets of Islam. Now, I've talked negatively about, about our consumerist capitalist ways. There are a bunch of very negative things about it. But I accept that that is the reality we live in. I'm not about to do something crazy in order to try to stop it. Because I know that if we actually stopped it, this country would collapse. We'd be done. So why are we, like, welcoming with open arms viewpoints that go completely against the values of this country? I mean, if we had some massive influx, and when I say influx, I mean the type of influx percentage of the population-wise that Europe is seeing right now with how many Muslims are coming in, of Amish people, we could probably be a tiny bit worried. Though not any sort of worry of terrorism. But a worry that our way of life might eventually come to an end. Of course, we have that worry no matter what. Eventually it will come to an end. But a lot sooner than uh, what it would if it was uh, going down its natural course. Those who are Christians who actually follow the Bible don't necessarily clash with Islam that much. It's those that don't follow the Bible very much that clash very much with Islam. Christianity that actually follows the Bible would also be against our consumerist capitalist society. The Amish just want to live off the grid. They want to be off the grid. I certainly don't see any problem with that. I don't think hardly anyone else sees any problem with that. It's very peaceful. And there are indeed a number of Muslims out there who are peaceful. But they don't really like much the kind of culture we have here but they're still peaceful. It's the ones who come here viewing our way of life as the scourge of existence, as the scourge of the planet, as something that needs to be destroyed. It is those Muslims who come here viewing our way of life that negatively that is the problem. I mean, they can see that we have a lot of freedoms here. We have a lot more freedoms than they have in their home countries. But with that freedom comes this mindset that they find deplorable. And they smile and they try to be nice and they try to, they try to fit in, but sometimes they just go off the deep end. Why do we welcome that with open arms? We are a Christian consumerist nation. Our laws are secular, but our culture is Christian consumerist capitalist. Why would we want to bring something in that is hell-bent on destroying that? I don't understand that. I don't get it. And on that same note, I don't understand why so many people welcome the SJW mindset with open arms. Because its goal is basically the same. It is to destroy our way of life. If there are people that come here and want to become some sort of a separatist, that's fine. That's fine. You can come here and become some sort of separatist. If you want to live like the Amish live, great. Fine. No problem. No one's going to complain about you. 
But when you start yelling and screaming how terrible we are because our way of life is in direct conflict with your belief system, why are you here? Why come here? Okay, you're not going to get your way here. You may get your way in, in some of Europe, in a lot of Europe. You may get your way there. You're not going to get your way here in this country. It's not going to work. There are some people who obviously will bend over backwards for you, but there are others who will not. And the others who will not are at least half this country. And we will make sure that if you want to shove forth that kind of mindset of being outraged because we live in violation of your beliefs, then you will be treated poorly. Why stay here? Find some other country you can manipulate. Because it's not going to work here.